Welcome children. Geography chapter number 5 Industry. First, let me give you introduction. The notebook that the students use in order to pen down the notes are manufactured after a long process. The journey of this notebook starts from a tree. Those who wish to manufacture paper cut down the trees and transport it to any pulp mill. At the mill, the wood of trees is processed using machines and gets converted into pulp made of wood. The mill worker mixes the pulp with chemical. The mix is finally converted into paper and with the help of machines. These pages are then bound into a notebook packed well and are sent to stationery shops to be sold. Manufacturing or secondary activities are the process through which raw materials are converted into products. These products can be valuable to people in different ways. In the above example, pulp is changed into paper and paper gets converted into a notebook. These are two processes of manufacturing. The cotton which is used to manufacture clothes and pulp which is used to make paper had values added to them to every stage while the process of manufacturing was going on. Due to this, a product which gets finished achieves more utility and value as compared to the raw materials from which the final product has been manufactured. What do you mean by industry? Industry is the economic activity which involves producing goods, extracting different minerals and providing services. The examples of industry that produce goods are iron and steel industry, that of extracting minerals are coal, mining industry and tourism industry is an example of those who provide services. And here is a classification of industry, its raw materials, size and ownership. Now raw materials depending on the type of raw material that is being used, industries are classified on the following basis. Agro-based industry, mineral-based industry, marine-based industry, foreign-based industry. Now let's first see <coughs> agro-based industry. Here plants and animal-based products are used. Few of the examples of such industries are leather industries. Mineral-based industry, they are primary industry which use mineral ores in the form of required raw materials. Other industry feed on the product of this industry. Iron which is manufactured from iron ore is an example of a product which we get from several products like railway coaches, heavy machineries and building materials. The raw materials from these industries are needed. Forest based industry, uh, it utilizes forest produce as raw materials and the industries are associated with the forest are pulp and paper, pharmaceutical furniture and buildings. Marine based industry, they use products from ocean and sea in the form of raw materials Few of the examples of such industry are those industries which process seafood or manufacture oil from fishes. They use products from ocean and sea in the form of raw materials. Few of the examples of such industry are those industries which process seafood or manufacture oil from fishes. Now let's see the size. The production volume number of people that are being employed and the capital amount that is being invested are main determinants of size. We classify industry into two following types. Small scale industry. So let's see for small scale industry. Household or cottage industry are an example of small scale industry. Artisans manufacture these products by hand. Few of the examples of cottage industry are pottery, basket weaving, among other Lesser amounts of technology and capital are required. Those industries that process food and silk weaving are an example of such a industry. Large scale industry. In this industry, 
Superior kind of technology is used and investment capital that is involved is high as well. Heavy machineries and automobile productions are examples of such industry. Ownership On the basis of ownership, industries are classified into following types. Let's see first private sector industry. A group of individuals or one individual operates such industries. For example, here on the screen is Tata. Now, public sector industry, the government owns such industry such as Steel Authority of India Limited, what we say a sale, and Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, HAL. Joint sector industry. An individual or groups of individual along with the state own such industry. Exa example of this is Maruti Udyog Limited. Cooperative sector industry. The supplies or producers of raw materials along with workers or even both in some cases own this industry. Sudha Dairy and Anand Milk Union Limited, that is Amul, are the example of cooperative ventures that have been very successful. Factors affecting location of industry. Availability of raw material, land, water, labor, power, capital, transport and market. Raw material, labor, water, land, market, capital, power and transport are important factors that affect the industry's location. A place where few or all of these factors are easily found. Industry are usually established at such places. When industries are established in different backward regions, the government provides different incentives such as establishment of infrastructure, transport, cost at low amounts and subsidized power. The reason for growth and development of several cities and towns can be attributed to the process of industrialization. Let's see industrial system. When a number of industries producing different products are located close to each other, industrial regions emerge. This region say the benefit of their closeness. Central Eastern and Western Europe, Central Eastern Asia and North America are the examples of few of the major industrial regions across the globe. Few of the industrial regions are located near seaport, some kind of temperate areas and most importantly, some coal fields. Some of the industrial regions that exist in our country are Kollam Trivandrum Industrial Cluster, Hooghly Region, Pune Mumbai Industrial Cluster, Ahmedabad Baroda Region, Delhi Gurgaon Merit Region, and the Industrial Belt of Chota Nagpur. So let's see industrial disaster. Several industries have seen disaster or accident which have occurred due to some technical failure or hazardous materials being handled in an irresponsible manner. For example, I would like to give over here is Bhopal gas tragedy is one of the worst industrial disasters of all time that has occurred in our country. On 3rd December 1984 at around 12.30 am in the middle of the midnight, this incident occurred. Methyl isonate. MIC which is highly poisonous gas along with hydrogen cyanide and other products of reaction had leaked that night from the pesticide factory which was owned by Union Carbide India Limited. In 1989 the official that toll due to this incident was 3598. Thousands of others who managed to survive ended up suffering from other serious health complications such as gastro intestinal disorders, blindness, immune system issues, children born with different body structures among others. Another similar incident took place in Gao Jiao which is located in Chongqing province of China. A blowout had occurred in a gas well located in an industrial region on December 23, 2005. Due to this accident, 243 people were declared dead and around 
9,000 got injured. The authorities had to evacuate over 64,000 people. Reports state that a large number of people were dead simply because as soon as the explosion took place, they were unable to escape immediately. These victims, who did not get a chance to escape, ended up suffering from burn injuries to the lungs, skin and eyes caused due to gases. Distribution of major industry Textile industry and steel industry information textile industry. Now let's see the information technology industry. The IT industry is an industry which is still emerging, while the textile industry along with the iron and steel industry are some of the major industry which have been going strong since ancient time. Russia, Germany, China, USA and Japan are some of the countries where the iron and steel industries are found on a major scale. India, South Korea, Taiwan, Japan and Hong Kong are the countries where the textile industry is located. South California, Silicon Valley and India's Bangalore are the major hubs of the IT industries. Those industries which are still emerging are sometimes called emerging industry, hospitality, wellness, knowledge and IT are examples of such industry. The countries in which the iron and steel industry is located are Germany, USA, China, Japan and Russia. Textile industry concentrated in India, Hong Kong, South Korea, Japan and Taiwan. The major hub of the information technology industry are the Silicon Valley of Central California and Bangalore region of India. Iron and steel industry. All other industry consists of different inputs, processes and outputs. Same is the case with the iron and steel industry. It is termed as the feeder industry. This is so because the product of this industry are used as raw materials for various different industries. Raw materials like limestone, iron ore and coal when combined with capital labor site capital along with the infrastructures are the required inputs for this industry. There are various stages involved through which iron ore gets converted into steel. In the first step, the workers put the raw materials into blast furnace from where it undergoes the process of smelting. Smelting is the process where workers extract metals from the ores and heat the metal beyond its melting point. After this, they refine it. The output or the final product obtained by this process is steel. It is used by several other industries in the form of a raw material. Steel is considered tough. One can easily cut it, give it shape or mold it into a wire. In order to make special alloys of steel or other metal in small amounts are added to it. These metals could be copper, aluminium or nickel. And with the help of alloy, steel becomes hard, tough and its ability to resist rust. Steel is considered as the backbone of 21st industry. Almost all the things that we either use or see getting used around us is manufactured from either steel or iron. All the machineries and tools comprise this metal as the main component. Even the tiniest of things that we use in our daily lives such as needles and safety pins are also made up of this. Steel is used as a main component in order to manufacture trains, auto, ships and trucks. And with the help of steel machinery, the workers fill up the oil wells. Steel equipment is used to mine different types of minerals and most of the time steel is used to manufacture farm machines, frameworks made up of steel form the main part of a large number of buildings. Before the 1800 AD, steel and iron industry were largely located at places where the manufacturer could easily get power supply, running water and raw materials. After some time, the coal fields were also chosen to be the ideal. Pittsburgh Pittsburgh is an important steel city of the United States of America. The Pittsburgh area has many factories other than steel mills. This used steel are their raw materials to make many different products such as heavy railroad equipment, heavy machineries and 
Ray. Cotton textile industry, fibers are the raw materials of textile industry. Fiber can be natural or man-made. Natural fibers are obtained from wool, silk, cotton, linen and jute. And the cotton textile industry is one of the oldest industry in the world. India, China, Japan and the USA are the important producers of cotton textile. And the first successful merchandise textile mills was established in Mumbai in 1854. Initially, cotton industry flourished in the states of Maharashtra and Gujarat and because of favorable humid climate. Coimbatore, Kanpur, Chennai, Ahmedabad, Mumbai, Kolkata, Ludhiana, Puducherry and Panipat are few of the centers of cotton textile industries in India. Ahmedabad became the second largest textile city of India after Mumbai. Ahmedabad is referred to as the Manchester of India. In, in Ahmedabad, favorable location factors were responsible for the development of the textile industry. In the recent year, Ahmedabad textile mills have been some problem. Several textile mills have been shut down or closed down. Osaka is the Manchester of Japan and an important textile center of Japan. In Osaka, the textile industry developed due to several geographical factors. Sufficient water was available for mills provided through river Yodo, easy availability of labor, location of port facility for import of raw materials and for exporting textiles. Late the cotton textiles of Osaka has been replaced by other industry like iron and steel machinery, shipbuilding and etc. Information technology that is IT. Information technology industry deals in the storage, processing and distribution of information. The main factor guiding the location of this industry are resource availability, cost and infrastructure. The major hubs of the IT industry are the Silicon Valley, California and Bangalore in India. Bangalore is known as the Silicon Plateau. IT hubs in metropolitan centers of India are Mumbai, New Delhi, Hyderabad and Chennai. Thank you.